You there. I will be a doctor for today. I can help you. And I will help you. Hello, Miss Flora. How may I be of help to you today? I've been so stressed lately. I haven't been able to sleep. I can't even get a good night's sleep. I just want to sleep without having to worry or stress or feel like the weight of the world is on my shoulders. <sighs> hmm. How long has this been going on? It's It's been about six months. Ever since I started my new job, it's been very mm -hmm. nice. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, Miss Flora, it is not a one day process. So are you ready to listen to me? Yeah, today I'm going to be showing you six proven ways honey to deal with stress and anxiety these are trying times there's a lot going on okay a lot going on everywhere so yes times like this you need ways you can cope with the rising amount of stress and anxiety and things happening i can help you and i will help you so with that being said say hello to your doctor <laughs> One. You need to find a way to relax. And by relax, I do not mean sit in front of, I don't mean sit in front of the TV watching Netflix as a way of relaxing. That is not relaxing at all. Because when you're doing that, your brain is still in, is your brain is still working. Because it's, your eyes are still watching the images, your ears are still hearing the sound, so your brain is still actively working. So you are not relaxing, no, you are not relaxing, you're just chilling. Ways you can relax, meditation, breathing exercises, even doing normal exercises. You can bike, do your jog or something, or you can go outside, outdoors, where you got nature, plants, stuff like that. If you like that kind of stuff, if that's your thing, if you like outdoor activities, go outside, do something, relax. That's a way of relaxing. It just distracts your mind and makes you focus on a particular thing. That's a way of relaxing. So the, other, the next one is journaling journaling down journaling down your emotions your feelings that is a very proven way to help manage your stress and anxiety trust me i do this i journal all the time and i know and when you're journaling make sure that you write down how you're feeling at that moment and the thoughts that you're having as you're feeling that thing for example something happened how did it make you feel write down in your journal what's what are you thinking about what's going on in your head write down these are some of the ways that you can actually manage your stress and anxiety because you can get to the root of the problem. And this is a way of introspection. Introspection simply means looking within yourself, looking inside you, looking at your thoughts, looking at your emotions, looking at inside of you. So write down whatever it is you're thinking, you're feeling, write it down. That's a way of... Guys, I really found that like journaling on, on a daily basis or maybe when something on a daily basis doing emotional highs and lows, it really just helps you to just like have perspective like about yourself and your like how you react to things and how you should adjust to it because you know in the heat of the moment sometimes you may not be able to realize that and you forget it afterwards but it's just generally just helps to just bring everything into perspective so you can just like look at it as it is and just you know i just really you, you uh, hope you guys can just inculcate like journaling into your even if it's in the morning or at night after your day you can just write down how you're feeling or what you felt that day and stuff like that it really just help you to manage your emotions really really do advise it because you just like know that this is personal to you these these are your thoughts your emotions anything you're thinking mm. and feeling at the moment write it down nothing is off limits that's the fun thing with journaling you just basically just pour out your entire thoughts on a piece of paper so yeah 
the third one the third one is spending time with family and friends spending time with family and friends is a very good way to distract your mind and to relax you because you're with genuine energy people who actually love you and care about you genuinely and you genuinely enjoy their company so this is a way that will distract your mind relax you you know make you feel loved and warm with people who love and adore you you know spend time just make time from your busy schedule to spend time with family and friends and people that you love is to focus on what you can control another view of like anxiety is like oh, 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 worry Con <laughs> oh my god calm down and relax okay focus on what it is you can control write down what it is that is making you stressed or making you anxious and look at it critically are those things that you can control or, or are those things that are out of your control if it's something that you can control then fine do something towards it. The goal of worrying and stressing should be able to find a solution to that problem, not to continue worrying and stressing over it. What is the point? Eh, what is the point? If you continue worrying and stressing over it, what's the point if there's no solution? So yes, yeah, so you need to just write down what it is that you can control and focus on that, okay? The truth is most of like of stressing over things, most of anxiety comes from worrying or stressing over things that you cannot control, like the future or, or something that it is not you realize that this is not in your control, but you really do want it. I get it. But there is no point in stressing over something that is not in your power. There is really, really no point in that. It's maddening. It's crazy to drive you crazy because you can't control it. It's it's out of your reach. It's not within you. So you can't control it and you Earlier, you realize that and accept that. Not just realizing it, accepting it that this is something I cannot control. Okay, this is this is something that it's not in my power. You know, at least there, there there's some sort of um you, like you get to see things from a different perspective. You know, you what you can control rather is yourself, your thoughts, your or the way you react to it, the way you like perceive the world around you so that is what you can control and that is what you should actually focus on rather than external like the things that you can't you have no control over you have control over your thoughts you have control over your actions you have control over those things so yeah just just know that like these are the things that i can control i can control how i react to this situation so that's that's like better that's how it's better than stressing over something that you can't control unless you want to drive yourself crazy <laughs> don't the next one is for you to reduce your workload of course if this is possible for you please just reduce your work hours for yourself for your health stress is never a good thing for anybody it is not a good thing okay take it from me take it from i i know it is not a good thing you might say you're working hard you're working hard but please don't don't overwork yourself just try if you can to reduce your work hours spend that instead with friends spend that relaxing reading a book doing some exercise whatever it is you want to do that will help you relax self care now many people use this as a way of relaxing self care just take a nice shower do makeup do a makeover get a new haircut do some skincare buy yourself some new clothes those are ways that can actually help you relax because it's a way of taking care of yourself and you feel good afterwards so yes it will help you relax help you feel good boost your self-confidence all that good stuff you know make you feel like you're a boss again so these are some of the ways you can manage your stress and anxiety just inculcate one of this into your routine do one of this just just whatever you want just pick one do it you can start journaling small small just be writing down or you can start meditating or dry breathing exercise or whatever it is you want to do good luck with that and i hope it helps you with your stress and anxiety okay thank you so much for watching my video if you did enjoy it please give it a thumbs up share this with someone who you think is going to need it share it with a friend a family or whoever it is share this video with somebody give it a thumbs up don't forget subscribe to my channel if you've not subscribed and i'll see you next time and I'll see you next time.